Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I put on my false lashes because I know a lot of you have like problems um, with putting on false lashes. I know I did back like when I first started, I would like mess it up. Um, I had no idea, no one taught me. So um, I'm going to be showing you how I put them on. If you're like an ultimate beginner, what you might want to do is get um, a lash starter kit and it comes with uh, the lashes, the glue, and a, a lash applicator. Now this one is by Ardell and it comes with the 105 lashes, which I'm not going to use today because I don't really like them. They kind of look like hooker lashes. But um, the glue is awesome and the applicator is pretty handy if you are not good with like your fingers putting them near your eyes and stuff. So um, I'll be using those today. And the lashes that I'm going to be using are the Ardell 107s. Um, they are full, and it is daytime, but I don't care because I like them. So um, I'm going to be using them. I haven't used these before, so this is sort of like um, also a trial and error for me. I don't know if they're going to look good on me or whatever, so I'm going to try that right now. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you grab the lash, that you're grabbing it and putting it on the right eye. So this one, the... Um, Lashes get shorter on this end, so it's obviously for this eye because the lashes are shorter there and longer on the outside. So what you want to do is you want to grab this lash applicator and sort of grab the ends of the lashes. Okay, so you want to grab them with the lash applicator, and then you want to measure it against your eye to see if it's going to be a bit too long because sometimes they do make them a little longer just in case your eye is, like, wider than some other people's, but, um, so... So yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this because my eyes are fairly long. Um, but I mean, if you have smaller eyes, then go ahead and trim away. Um, I suggest that you probably trim from the uh, longer outside edge if you're going to be using the 107s. Just because if you trim the inner shorter edge, when you put them on, they're going to be a bit longer on your inner corner. And that's going to be a little weird. So grab them like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the lash glue and you're going to put it right along sorry that's out of focus okay there so you're going to put it right along the bottom like underneath right there where the um lashes are held together so you just want to put it like right where the lashes are connected and right underneath cuz if you put them like on top where the lashes are connected, it's going to be like, you're going to have to put them on funny. So um, you can put it there too, but I like to put it just a little bit like right behind that line. And then here's where a lot of people make a mistake. They just put the glue on and then they stick it on their eye and then they're like, why the hell is it not sticking? So it's glue. you got to wait until it's a little tacky to stick it on your eyeball. So um, you can blow on it or you can just wait like 20 or 30 seconds until it's a little bit um, tacky. You don't have to touch it or anything because I find like if you touch it, it just removes the glue and then you got to put more on in that spot and then just wait another like 20 seconds or whatever. Okay. So um, once you think it's dried a little bit, you're going to look down and then place it on your eye where you think it's going to be best. Um, it's not guaranteed that it's actually going to like fall into place the first second you put it on, um, you can always move it with the applicator or with your fingertips or whatever to position it properly. I want to start by placing the corner to the outer corner of your eye, and then slowly pushing it down the rest of the way. And then what you can do is you take the edges of this and you can push it down here. Don't worry if the glue is like sort of all over the place because you can wipe it off and it dries clear anyways. So So you see the difference? It's so much more like girly and feminine with the false lashes on and then as opposed to like my natural eyelashes. So another thing is if you are sort of like um, a noob at putting on false lashes, what might happen is that you might get like a line, like a wave, um, where the glue dried and it wasn't completely straight across your eye. It sort of like dried uneven. 
I did an okay job, but I mean, like, I've been putting on false lashes for, like, quite a while now, so, um, I didn't really have a problem, but if you do happen to see that it's sort of not evenly across your eye like that, um, what you can do is you can take a liquid liner, I'm just using the one I always use, it's by Almay, and you can just draw a line right across your eye to sort of even it out. And then what you can do is you can wing it. And then it makes your lashes look even fuller than they do, like, if you didn't do the line. But, I mean, that's really optional. You don't really have to do the uh, liquid liner thing. It just, you know, it just adds to it. Or, if I mean, if you don't like the way you applied them, it can um, fix it without you having to reapply the lashes all over again, which is kind of stupid and sucks. So um, that's it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want me to do any more videos on how to do certain stuff, just uh, leave a comment below. See you later. Fail.